from the CBS Broadcast Center in New York. be a second. Oh, uh, I'll be right with you. <laughs> it's okay. I'll come in now. Hey, this is a nice place. Oh, uh, uh, would you like to sit down? Oh, no, thanks. I just wanted to make sure you got home safe. Okay. Uh, listen, um, I, I, I would really like to pay for some of your clothes that I ruined. Oh, they're not ruined. They're fine. I know. I'm sorry I'm such a klutz. I mean, to drop an egg salad sandwich on a total stranger's pants is really dumb. Well, don't worry. I can have the pants clean. Yeah? What about your shoes? I mean, for a person to drop a whole container of milk on another person's shoes, that's even dumber. Well, that's okay. I mean, my socks are almost dry, and my shoes have stopped squishing. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you want to come in? Uh, oh, this is terrible. I'm inviting a man into my apartment, and I can't even remember his name. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> well, I remember it. It's Jim. Uh, Muriel. Oh, I remember that, too. Good. Well, goodbye. Uh, Jim, uh, listen, if you don't let me pay for your clothes, at least let me try to sew your jacket. Oh, don't worry. It's old and <laughs> nobody's going to notice. Well, look, let me just have a look and see if I can do anything. <laughs> I think they're going to notice. Look, don't feel bad. I mean, by grabbing me, you saved me from a bad fall. I know, but you slipped on my egg salad. <laughs> you know, they're never going to let me in that museum cafeteria again. You know, it's great looking at paintings with an artist. Oh, I, I'm not an artist. I'm just an art director at an ad agency. What do you do? I'm in graduate school. Oh, great. Which one? You've never heard of it. It's small, really small. Oh, that's OK. I mean, the college I went to was so small, we only had one school color. <laughs> <laughs> what do you study? Philosophy. Oh, that's wonderful. I mean, I hear you can make a lot of money in philosophy. <laughs> so, would you like some coffee? Oh, no, thanks. Uh, besides, I got to go. You got to go home? Right, I got to go. Oh. Well, listen, you sure you don't want that coffee? I mean, I make the best coffee of anybody in my apartment. <laughs> How about lunch tomorrow? <laughs> Why, you got any other clothes you want me to ruin? <laughs> I mean, you sure you want to take a chance? Sure, I'll wear a drop cloth. <laughs> Lunch would be great. All right, uh, I'll meet you at the corner of 5th and 43rd at 12.30. Great. Good night, Maria. Night, Jim. Hey, Jim! Jim, you forgot your umbrella! <laughs> Thanks. That's OK. Here. Well, good night. Good night. <laughs> Broadway bread says theater, lights, costumes, chorus girls, lots and lots of chorus girls. It has nothing to do with the street. Eddie, it has everything to do with the street. That is why they call it Broadway bread. Yeah. And that is why the commercial has got to be shot in Times Square. I can't shoot in Times Square. Julia, you don't understand. A loaf of bread doesn't look good outside. Bread only looks good when it's surrounded by chorus girls with beautiful legs. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Good morning, office. Good morning, my best friend, Julia. Good morning, my second best friend, Eddie. And good morning to my third best friend, April. Good morning, Maria. <laughs> and good morning to all of my friends who are not here. I think the subway door is closed on her head. Gang, 
Maria Teresa Bonino has an announcement to make. They found a cure for garlic. <laughs> Last night, I think I met Mr. Wright. No, 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 no. <laughs> Better than Mr. Wright. <laughs> Captain Wright. A fella? Well, a fella. A fella. Yeah. So where'd you meet him? At the museum, right in front of the rape of the Sabine women. <laughs> See anything you like? <laughs> he said hi, and I said hi. <laughs> and then we wandered over to Van Gogh's Sunflowers, and, uh, you know, one thing led to another, and then he walked me home and uh, took me up to my apartment. Ah, now we're getting to the good part. Dollar bets. You're on. <laughs> Guys, he is not like any other man I've ever met. He's shy. We didn't even shake hands. <laughs> so what's his name? Jim. Jim what? Jim Tall, Jim Gorgeous, Jim Catholic. <laughs> Which means I can wear my high heels when we go to bingo together. Before I doze off, I'm going to do something exciting, like reversing my typewriter ribbon. Maria, for crying out loud, will you tell me what happened? Who's my Danish? Forget your Danish, dummy. Now, what happened? Julia, I think he really likes me. How can you tell? Well, number one, he asked me to lunch today. Yeah? And number two, he didn't touch me. What? Well, he didn't take my arm when we were crossing the street. He didn't try to kiss me. We didn't even shake hands. What else could that mean? Maybe he doesn't like you. <laughs> Julia, I have had a lot of experience with men not touching me, but this is the first man who didn't touch me that meant it. <laughs> that meeting? I have never seen Tony so mean. Tony has now raised nitpicking to the level of an art form. <laughs> Why did she have to keep us in there so long? Jim will be here any minute and I look a mess. Maria, is Tony still here? Oh boy, is she. Rats. How did the commercial go, Eddie? I'm dead and it's your fault. What happened? You wanted me to shoot Broadway bread out on Broadway, huh? I couldn't do it in a theater with sexy chorus girls like I wanted. Did something go wrong? Wrong. The sinking of the Titanic was a pleasure cruise next to what happened to me today. <laughs> it was a disaster, an absolute and total disaster. Eddie, what's the disaster? Disaster? <laughs> what disaster? The absolute total disaster. Oh, that disaster. <laughs> my apartment. I had my annual party to celebrate Vic Damone's birthday. <laughs> it was a disaster. The drinking, the breaking furniture. The lies. The lies? Vic Damone was born June 12th. Any fool knows that. <laughs> Eddie, the disaster. It's not my fault. Don't yell at me. Edward. All right. I shot the commercial in Times Square, right? Get to the point. You know what they have more of in Times Square than anywhere else? <laughs> pigeon. <laughs> Thousands of pigeons. And you know what pigeons do? Oh. No, no, besides that. They eat bread. They eat it while you set up the cameras. <laughs> they eat it while you set up the lights. But especially, they eat it while you shoot the commercial. All I have on film is Broadway bread being ravaged by thousands of pigeons. Ooh, Eddie, how clever of you. What? I can see the slogan now. Broadway bread, good to the last crumb. 40,000 native New Yorkers couldn't be wrong. <laughs> Tony, Tony, that's marvelous. Of course it is. <laughs> Night, children. See you tomorrow, Tony. Oh, I gotta get going. Oh, look at me. If I'm going to be ready in time, I'll need a miracle. You ran. <laughs> You're going to help me, April. Thank you. Maria, you look fine. Oh, yeah, but I want to look special for Jim tonight. Don't worry. I'll make you look as good to him as I look to myself. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you, April. Well, any girl who can go out with the same man three nights in a row deserves special treatment. Oh, come on, April. You've done that. Child, after the first date with me, they're usually rushed to intensive care. <laughs> what are you doing? It'll just take a second. I'm giving you a little more eyes and a little less nose. Don't wiggle or you'll look like Danny Thomas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finished. Does it look good? Good. I feel like signing your face. <laughs> Oh. Hi. 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 I see why they get along. <laughs> Both good talkers. Oh, Jim. Uh, this is Julia and this is April. Oh, it's very nice to meet you both. Hi, Jim. Nice. <laughs> Maria, you really look great tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, well, look, oh, we gotta go. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I know. <laughs> Goodbye, Jim. <laughs> Jim, would you like to come in for a while? Yes, tonight I would. Great! Look, look, um, throw your coat on Charlie. Um, I've got some coffee, and, uh, I'll, I got some cannolis. It'll only take a second. Oh, Maria, don't bother. Oh, hey, it's no bother. Besides, you must be hungry. I mean, you hardly touched your dinner. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's only sugar. It won't hurt you unless you have ants. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> It's okay, and I'm not hungry. Don't you feel well? Oh, I feel okay. I just have a lot on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, Maria. Yeah. Could you come here a second? Sure. I got you something. Well, you really can't tell until you open it. Oh, it's, it's just such a nice surprise. Oh, Jim. Jim, it's a crucifix. <laughs> oh, Jim. Oh, Jim, it's... It's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Like it? It's fabulous. I'm sorry. Uh, don't be. It was just such a nice, you know, present. And an appropriate one. Yeah, I mean, we're both Catholic. I'm even more Catholic than you are. Nobody is. <laughs> oh, well, I am. You see, Maria, the graduate school I'm in is a seminary. Seminary? <laughs> yeah. You see, I'm going to be a priest. Jim. <laughs> You're going to be a priest? Uh huh. I kiss that bad. Maria. Oh, you're, you're going to be a priest. Well, that's a lovely thing for a person to be a priest. If they're going to be a priest, you're going to be a priest? Yes. Well, what do you know? I kissed a priest. Oh, my God, I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maria, would you please listen to oh, me? Oh, look, I should have kissed your ring. Give me your hand. I'll kiss it now. <laughs> please calm down. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm very calm. Listen, you want your cannolis now? No, thank you. You want to take them home with you? No, Maria, please listen to me. <laughs> There's nothing to listen to. There's nothing to explain. You're going to be a priest. That's definite. Yes, definite. Well... It's certainly been a lovely evening, and um, it is getting kind of late now, and uh, I really have to be going home. So I really want to thank you for a lovely time, and goodbye. <laughs>
second. Well, what happened? What did he say? I mean, should I learn to play Oh, Promise Me? Try a funeral march. You know what happened? Well, he gave me a present. A ring? No, a cross. A cross that I'll bear for the rest of my life. <laughs> Maria, what are you talking about? Julia, I think you better sit down. Okay. Second thought, you stand, I'll sit. <laughs> Julia, Jim is going to be a priest. A what? He went out with me three times and he ends up a priest. <laughs> I am so happy. boys to go in, you know, to the priesthood, <laughs> but not the tall ones. <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah, it sure isn't. When did you find out? Tonight in my apartment. You still there? You left him in your apartment? It's all right. Priests don't steal. <laughs> led you on. No, I didn't. I led me on. I mean, I thought he was being nice because he was interested in me. Turns out he was being nice because that's what he is. He's nice. He's a nice <laughs> priest. <laughs> oh, Jules, what am I going to do? Well, I think first of all, you should pull yourself together. And second of all, you need a drink. And I have a bottle of red wine under the sink. You know, Julia, I think I'm finally going to make my mother happy. How? I'm going to become a nun. <laughs> Come on, Maria. <laughs> I can really pick him. Remember the guy at the boat show, the cute one? He turned out to be a transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> Only wanted to go out with me because we were the same dress size. <laughs> Nino, shut up and drink. You're good friend, Julia. I know. And you'll never tell anybody. Not if you don't want me to. Especially not April. She'll make cracks. I promise. Or Eddie? Maria, I promise you I will not tell a soul. or something. The wine is making me feel better. <laughs> Nino, snap out of it. I can't. I've got a busted snapper. What's the matter with the love machine? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, right, Julia? Nothing at all. She's just a little hungover. She looks like she's been hanging for five days. <laughs> it just so happens that I spent most of last night drinking the most fabulous red wine, didn't I, Julia? Mm. Oh. Is your young man a wine expert? <laughs> yeah, he uses it all the time. <laughs> Drinks it religiously. <laughs> And did your evening conclude once again with a passionate handshake? <laughs> uh, it just so happens that Jim told me last night that uh, he wasn't going to see any other women. Yeah, he said that. There's no doubt about it. I mean, after all, April, when you've got it, you've got it. <laughs> all it took was one little kiss from me, and his mind was made up. Now, in that case, Maria, Congratulations. I'm nominating you Rookie of the Year. What are you doing? I'm burying myself in my work. <laughs> Maria? Maria? Don't bother me! You've got company. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hi. Couldn't find that memo. <laughs> Maria, I want to 
to talk to you. Hi, Jim. Father. Uh, not yet. I'm still Jim. Before I left for the seminary, I had to see you. I, I have a confession to make. Listen, I gotta go find that memo. Julia. Well, look, we're gonna be in big trouble if we don't find that memo, Maria. You see, that was a memo from our boss, Tony, warning us not to lose any more memos. <laughs> Maria, you didn't give me a chance to explain. Uh, I'm really sorry about the way I handled myself. With you. Oh, I know. You were terrific. I mean, you are terrific. Look at you. You look wonderful. Should be on a recruiting poster. He wants you, you know? Listen, what I came to say was that I was wrong not telling you about myself from the beginning. I... No, I mean, it... don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Where is that stupid memo? Uh, Maria. All right, it matters. Listen, it was selfish of me not to have told you. I was thinking too much about myself and not enough about you. That's why I lied. You didn't lie. Sin of omission. You're beginning to sound like a professional. <laughs> not yet, but uh, now I know I'll get there. And you've helped. Me? How? Maria, if I can still want to be a priest after going out with a sensational girl like you, I must really want to be a priest. Wow. You're terrific. Who says so? I say so. Well, who am I to argue with a priest? <laughs> Friends? Friends. Hey, since uh, you're so big in the religion business, you know any uh, tall rabbis? Uh, <laughs> none that are Catholic. Hey, Paul, please help me find the memo memo. In a minute, minute, I see a man, man. <laughs> Hello, tall, dark, and religious. <laughs>